To get to the chart of accounts screen, we go to Accounting, Chart of Accounts. Chances are the default chart of accounts won't have all the codes that you need for your particular business. For example, there is only one sales code, but chances are you have multiple sales sources and will want to code transactions to different sales codes so that you can get a more detailed and granular picture of your revenue. So let's look at adding a new sales account code now. So we click this plus add account button and the first thing we are asked for is the account type. I want to add a revenue code so I can start typing it in here or I can scroll the list to find the right type. Next comes the code. You have to use a code that hasn't already been taken so you want to have a look first and code things as close to their current numbers. So if you're adding a sales code, make sure it starts with a two. And I'm going to go with 201 because our current sales code is 200. Then you need to give it a name. Let's imagine our company is a catering company and we want to create a sales code just for our catering for corporates. So I'm going to call this sales corporates. The description is optional, but can help other users know what to use the account code for. So for this, I'm going to put revenue from corporate events. Next is the tax rate. You can choose from 15% GST on income, no GST and zero rated. I'm going to choose 15% GST on income and then there are some optional choices here. One which you may want to tick is this show on dashboard watch list, which will then display the code here on the dashboard where you can keep an eye on it if you use the accounts watch list feature. And now we've created a new code. Note, it's really important for reporting purposes and for your GST return to get the type and tax treatment of your account codes correct. So if you want to add some account codes but aren't 100% sure what the type and tax treatment should be, get in touch or consult your accountant or bookkeeper.